<laughs> because he had a nip slip. He <laughs> did. Anyway, we got our <laughs> Color Me Mine mugs back. Let's do our first impressions. So, Fado, go ahead. Wait, which is mine? Wait, no, the one that I made for you. Oh, Whatever. Uh, That's the one I made. Oh wow, that seems Oh my good. gosh, it's glossy. Show the camera. Wow. The pink heart. Yeah, I put detail. And I put purple on, purple top, on top. Blue, my favorite color. His name. Did you see this? It's a crown because you're a king. So you did one, two, three? That's it? And I did stars. No wonder you finished quicker than I did. Hmm. They even glazed the inside. It's nice and shiny. So you like it? Yeah, I'm gonna drink out of it all the time. Now let's see if it else. What else? It's kind of a hot mess. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh, not too shabby. It's supposed to the different colors. That, I see the different but colors. That, gonna make the the glow like her. That mermaid though. Someone did this. It's but like, I took one whole hour on the mermaid. And then everything else was rushed. What did this? <laughs> if it wasn't for that. Looks like she's bleeding from her head. I know it does! Mm -hmm. Looks like she's bleeding the ocean. Explain this. 5'11, that's the day we met. Or no, that's the day he asked me to be his girlfriend. That's and it my says. Email. <laughs> it says joy in a heart. And it says, I love you. And it has a watermelon. Because we like watermelon. Aww. And look, he even did the inside. Yeah, I forgot I did the inside. Yeah, it didn't come out too bad. I know, I was expecting it to look a hot mess, but once they glaze it and stuff... Especially this, like a super bright red. Once they make it all shiny? But, no, but, but now, now we know, because look, this one I put like three, four coats on it. Mm. So, so when we do our, what's it called, the, the, the being all around? The base. Yeah, when we do the base, this is our first and... Yeah. Do all the three coats of the base, and then once it dries, then start doing your special stuff on top. That makes way more sense. So, so the, the mermaid also did like two coats on it. Yeah. Until the mermaid came out. Oh, it's gonna break things. And it's machine washable. It's um dishwasher safe. Machine washable. <laughs> dishwasher safe. Shoot, you can't even see your face the whole time. You're too tall. It's dishwasher safe. And microwave safe. It looks so pretty. The inside. And the inside I just left to wait. Yay! We're gonna use these during the holidays. My little man. Okay. See you when we get to the pumpkin patch. Are you excited for the pumpkin fall festival thing? Yep. You've been talking about it all week. All the month. pumpkin patch. All month. The pumpkin patch, the pumpkin patch. Put at the bottom. Bye. I know, I was gonna write a little note on the bottom, but. Okay, see ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Wait, lighting sucks. Wait, lighting sucks this way. So, where are we at, Fidel? At the fall <laughs> harvest. <laughs> harvest the weekend schedule. What? I don't know, the title. We're at the harvest festival. We're in the middle of nowhere. Is that the pumpkin thing? That's not a pumpkin patch. I hope that's not the pumpkin patch. Look at people. Look at he's getting all those pumpkins. I'm dead. Great day at the farm. Great day at a farm. I'm gonna try and pick it up, and then you're gonna try and pick it up. the other way. Oh. So okay. we're at the pumpkin patch. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oops. Is it still recording? Wait, hold on. It's backwards. Hold on. So okay. this is the Big Max company. And I think it weighs... Why is it zoomed in? You probably have it zoomed in. You little weirdo. Oh no, you have it normal. Anyway. Let's see if I can... No, 
now we're going on the tractor wagon ride. We're gonna be packed like sardines. Oh, what is this one doing? What is this a what? This is how I do it. Well, that's how mine is. What? It's back to the Nautilus pump. I think it's for watching or you actually... Yeah. This is the corn maze. So we're gonna go in. Which way, Fidel? This way or this way? So this is corn? How come I don't see any corn? Just made us go around. You're covering the camera. I found the perfect little pumpkin. It's so tiny and cute. Imagine your petite features. Oh my gosh. Look at it. And the little thing is straight. It's beautiful. You're gonna carry that pumpkin all, all, all like this, it's my baby. All day long. It's perfect. It was literally sitting in the
to make pumpkin pies. So, the ingredients that you will need are sweetened condensed milk, pumpkin puree, and a pie crust. Now I need to pause this so I can see the recipe. I didn't plant this through. And we're back. So, you also need two eggs and cinnamon. So let's get started. We need that big bowl. I hope it's clean. Open the dishwasher. Oh yeah, I started with this one. I'm amazing. Yes, I love this stuff. Pack the eggs in there? Yes. All of this stuff put into your big bowl. Mm. I just crack it on here. You really? Yeah. I feel like I'll do that. And while it's cooking, we're gonna carve our pumpkins. Yay, so much fun! Pour this in here? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. And we're pouring in all of the sweet and condensed milk. We're cooking. Dang, how long is this gonna take? She's well, this is the pumpkin? Yeah. Well, I thought, like, I thought I was gonna use the actual pumpkin. We could have, but I don't know how that would work. Because it has seeds and stuff. It's so much easier this way. Put this on here and see if it doesn't mess up. To make it up, that's the best we can do. So we put all of our ingredients in the bowl that you can't even see. And then wait, we need to add. Let's <laughs> see so you're gonna spill it. Oops. Then we're gonna add cinnamon. Wait. Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon 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 cinnamon. We're gonna do the cinnamon challenge. Oh my gosh, should we? Heck no. Have you did you do it back in the day? I almost died today, so I'm good. But did you do it like have you ever done the cinnamon challenge? No. Put it all the way back, all the way back. It's almost to the edge. All the way to the edge. What is that gonna do? It's the same. No. <sighs> when I start messing with stuff. I think that's fine. It's like a frog with legs sitting there. But I brought you, <laughs> you, I got you this. Oh, now you're telling me. <laughs> it was sitting right there. I've never 
baked a pie before. So. This doesn't even have directions. Is this even can go in the oven? Oh yeah. Cause it says ready press. Oh yeah, this can go in the oven. Perfect. So obviously you gotta take this plastic off. And I just got a graham cracker crust cause that's the only one I can find. You like graham cracker, right? Mm -hmm. It's already great. It will mold better once it goes into the oven. Don't worry. Oh, very good. He's stirring that thing. Show the camera. Cause I think it's good. That's the consistency. Okay. Now, pour it in here. Cut out. I think it's mixed. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I can hear the cat meowing. She wants to get out. She's been a bad girl. She's I'm gonna rinse as we go. Okay, yeah. I thought we'd have a big mess right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the big piece. Because I'm the man in it now. I'm dead. You get the little piece. You get the woman in it now. No, he didn't. You got, I got that on camera, so they heard that. He's a misogynist. I'm gonna talk to you masculinity. <laughs> He's proud! He goes, I'm a toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something you should say with pride. I'm a toxic masculinity. I heard you say that last time. I know, I did, and now you're proud to say it. I'm like, what is that? Look it up. You never, oh, you never heard that before? Toxic masculinity. You never heard that before? What does that mean? Oh, I thought you knew what that meant. So when I was saying that, you didn't know what I was talking about? Toxic masculinity refers to harmful behavior and attitudes commonly associated with some men, such as the need to repress emotions during stressful situations and to act in an aggressively dominant way. That's literally the perfect de definition. Fidel doesn't do that though, but he does do. Um... Okay, Fidel, can you turn off that? The people can't hear us. She's ready. Okay. Turn on the air, right? Since we have the oven on. Time to carve the pumpkins. Which I don't know how to do. This is what we got to carve the pumpkins. This is a little spoon. This is a machete. And this is a little tiny machete and a knife. I'm just kidding. And then it has little stencils. And has directions. Choose your stencil. Fold the stencil page along with perforation and carefully tear the page from the book. Easily push and pop out the shaded areas of the stencil. Oh, okay, so which one do you want? The most basic one is Tyler from my coloring line. This one. Basic, but also the Basic one's more. You can't even see, but it's gonna go right. It's gonna go like that. Oh my God, that's the perfect size. She broke this. Look at this, she broke it. And oh, I paid $52 for it. You will never. So it says pop out the shaded area. You wanna do it? Maybe you can do that. And then it says cut a wide circle around the pumpkin stem with the colossal carver. carver. This is the colossal carver. I guess. Let's rip her open. Mm. <laughs> I never oh. know. What'd you do? So hard to get to now. Okay, here, you open this. 
He messed up the nose. Go front. Yeah. Oh my god. Only because you already started oh messing it up. Oh my god. You got scissors? Yeah. I'm there. Oh, I guess you don't need it. Not for you. Oh, I don't. I don't. Just gotta do it with love. We're gonna win the... the cup award to spend... The award for the couple who spends more quality time together. Yes, we definitely deserve that award. So here's the stencil. At least she kind of messed up the nose, but okay. That was him. No worries. We'll take it to the surgeon. We should put a little bag to put all the nastiness from the inside, right? Mm. See, these bags come in handy. He's always like, why are you keeping the bags? Why do you keep them? Let's just throw them away. Oh, the cycle is Ready to car the door? Should we wash this? Yeah, it has all that dirt. Are you actually going to use soap and stuff? She's ready. She's nice and clean and bathed. So cut her a wide circle around the pumpkin stone. Wait, they can't see me. Don't fall. Okay. Wait, no. Oh yeah, that's the colossal one. Cut it like this. You see? Like that. I love that it has directions. Dang, Pluto, that looks scary. But also kind of fun. Can I try? You try to make it big enough so you can put your hands on it. Part of that thing. You try to make it wide circle. You already made it small. <laughs> Why do you need so so angry. <gasps> it's popping out. You ready? You ready? <gasps> oh my god! When you use the right tools, it's fun. Look! The inside. Wait, wait. Press salt in gently to break pumpkin skin. Do not stab or jab, which is what we did. Pull the lid off the pumpkin. Do not use the carving saw to pry off the lid. Use the super goop scoop to scoop out the inside of the pumpkin. Forget the trash to me. I feel like I want to keep this. That's adorable. You see, these pumpkin seeds, you can eat these. Can you see? I want you to eat one, Kato. Okay. Well, actually, I'm gonna try it first. Oh, I think it's supposed to break the shell off first. <laughs> Should I keep this? I don't know. I'm gonna keep it. And then use the serrated edge for scraping the goop at the bottom and sides. Use the comb edge to remove the goop from the bottom of the pumpkin. Basically, you need to clean that pumpkin as clean as you can get it, Pluto. And we'll be back when she's clean. After some brief messages. Yes. Okay, I think we got her as, as clean as she's gonna get. So the next step is to trace your stencil. You ready? But oh, what are you doing? It's making it good all over the place. <laughs> like a child. Open up. No. Uh. Okay. Next step. Is she ready? She ready. There's a lot of gooey stuff in here. 
Oh well. So hard to get over here. I'm over that. Ready to start doing the carbon. So we should put her right here. So we put the stencil. Stop! So we put it like that, Fidel? How do you want it, Fidel? Okay. So then it says to take the marker. Should I outline it or you or or hold it? Oh, like that? Like that, Fidel. Here. No, you need to hold the bottom. You need to hold it like how I'm holding. It has to be completely flat so that. We'll, no, just. We'll work on the icebergs. Just hold right here. Just work on the icebergs. Fidel, just hold it right there. Just, when are you doing that part? Yet? No, just do this. That's why I'm gonna hold it when we get down there like that. Just work on the But ice. then it's gonna move. Just work on the ice. It's gonna move, Fidel. Work on the ice. If it moves, I'm gonna kill you. You heard that, Alexa, and the camera. Cause watch when you move your hands. Just do. When you move your hands, you're the gonna make it move. More worky, less talky. So shut up. You see how he um, what's the word? Eggs me on. Just do as I say, Fido. I'm the queen. You mess up the nose. But I'll shut up. I didn't mess up anything. I don't know, bothered. I'm eating all these crooked See, now how are we gonna do the bottom? Hold on, hold on, dang. Don't see, you're already hold, hold moving your foot out. Hold on, okay. <laughs> what the hell? You need to hold the whole. Can you just do like this, Fidel? Thank you. See? Look right at the teeth. I'll just hold it myself. She's oh. concentrating. She's very focused right now. Because if I don't do it right, Fidel's going to be like, Oh my god, it's not perfect. My brain doesn't like that. Oof. Well, just know that when you cut it, cut it straighter than my lines. I can see it's moving. She's moving. Okay. Ah, I messed up a lot. Okay. This is how she looks. You can't even tell. Not the best, but it's there. So then it says. First, cut out the small areas with the detail saw. Dang, but you already know. The larger areas can be carved with the colossal carver. Saw with an in and out motion. <laughs> Do not rip the blade. Dang, but he having a lot of fun with this. That was his easy day. Let's see. Keep going. Okay, we did the first eye. Pop that bad boy. Ooh. Ooh. We'll name this Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> He's obsessed little, with Jeffrey Dahmer. Really killing a to the other eye. He's having so much fun with this. Cut along the marker. We're pretty close to it. So here's our pumpkin. We carved it and it looks so good. We're proud of ourselves. And now I want to go get a candle to put it inside and light it up and be really smooky, spooky. And let me show you our pie. Here's our pie, pumpkin pie. She needs to cool. Oh my gosh, so we got the candles, and look it, it looks so good. Can't believe we did that. That's your vlogging moment. 
Shut up. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's giving all the Halloween fall vibes. That is adorable. Okay, Fidel is impatient. He wants to try his pumpkin pie that we made ourselves. Wow. Oh, look how he got it. Good job. And he cut two little slices for us. Well, we're going to try it at the same time. We ready. Let's see. It's like our wedding cake. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, three, two. Damn, it's good. It's melting your mouth. Where is it for you? We could sell these. $50 a, a pie. It's Fidel approved. And you saw how easy it is. Mom, like, we have these, watch. Oh, God. If we had some milk, we could have done. You can't use water? Can we? Oh, yeah, then we should have bought milk. I think you can use water. It's just with milk will make it more creamy. You can use water. And then we got these little tiny. Ice creams for one person. Oh my god, look at the fall vibes with the pumpkin and the Chris and the decorations. It looks so good. Anyway, now we're about to watch The Haunted Mansion from 2003 with Eddie Murphy. No. She wants some of <laughs> Dang, she knows. She jumped off. She wants some of that pie. Ah, a great way to end our fall day. Say something. The pie is delicious. Glad I made it. We made it as a team. And we made the pumpkin as a team. And we ran to the store Ralph to get those candles because she wanted them and his ice cream. But we put up milk. You can still make it without milk, but. Try your pie, dude. You're gonna get cold. <laughs>